Uh, boys and girls, welcome back. This just came. Postman just knocked at the door a minute ago. And it's a pre-order from way back at the start of the year. And I can't remember what it is. So, maybe you've had one of these drop through your letterbox today. Well, a bit big for that, but you know what I mean. Um, the only one I can remember is the Landover. So maybe it's that. But I'm sure there's a couple of others this year. Oh yeah, I think it is. Exciting. From what I, what I saw of it, it looked like a really nice little kit. Um, that was a while ago. And... Uh, I can't remember much about it really. And I've just done a couple of starter sets. Well, not done, but looked at a couple of starter sets that they brought out a few years back. And now I've got one of my own. Uh, so there it is. Starter set. Land Rover Series 1 pickup. So I'd imagine they'd, they'll bring out a few variants of that, wouldn't they? You know, with a body, maybe a crane or something, military versions, ambulance, oh, who knows? So hopefully you can read that, a little bit of the history there. So it definitely says start set. <clears throat> but whether or not that means it's dumbed down, I'm not so sure these days. Uh, paint, glue, brush. else on there same same 143rd scale it's a bit of an odd size isn't it doesn't really go with much else but there you go so 39 pieces there's the dimensions and suggested colours uh, cartograph decals licensed by Land Rover uh, this year's model design, tooling, pack and all that as you'd expect. Made in India and the UK. Uh, we go, you get one flying out of it. Skill level one. Okay, get in there. Yes, I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of a couple of starter sets from a few years ago. So I'm kind of expecting this to be even better because they've upped their game a lot. And they, they, they just keep on making, get, getting better and better, don't they? So what's this? Not seen one of these before. Okay. It's a really nice looking bit of advice if it really is your first time making one of these. All the useful hints and tips. Good stuff. With the number plates and logos on instruments there. Okay, and again, history of Land Rovers. Uh, okay, so they're doing that again, showing you what the part parts look like. Good idea. Oh, this is nice. Oh, brightly coloured. Okay. So very clear um, icons, what to do. That's a nice touch, isn't it? Showing you where, where each part is. So just highlighting each bit, what spirit's on. Make it really simple. Simple, you know, a fair bit of detail by the look of by the look of the uh, images. Yeah, 
Yeah, and again, they've broken it down so one or two things in each um, section rather than the old style chrome loading. So much easier to buy. Very nice looking instructions. That, that makes it look so simple. Very good. Very good. Well done, FX. That's looking good. Advice for adults supervising. Don't poke your child with a paintbrush in the eye. Don't let them eat the glue. All that sort of stuff. So, what have we got here? It's got black. Dark green both here. Silver. Maybe white. It's the other box. What colours are? I guess the numbers are black, silver, grey, bluey grey, grey. I don't know. But you do whatever colour you want, can't you? Let's have a look at the bits. Start with frame A, shall we? That's another simple little thing. Really big bold that are there. Not so much of an issue on the smaller kit, but on the bigger ones, when you're hunting for a part on a, on a sprue and you've got six or seven of them, something like that, you can just go straight to it. So, good idea. Okay, so one piece sort of chassis there with the bottom of the engine all already built in. And then looking at you know, the detail on that tailgate. Got the that hinges, lights possibly, is that? The bit where the badge goes, number plate light. Tailgate hooks, really good. Then on the instruments, you've got the heater down there. Instruments, well, instruments up there. Just a, enough detail on the leaf springs. And then on the on the side there, got rivets on the panels. Really clear little door handle. A nice bit of detail on that, even on the inside. Got door handles on it. Good stuff. Oh, look at that grill. Doesn't that look good? Crisscross, you know, grill pattern. <laughs> it's very nice. Really simple looking wheels. Like you haven't got to put the middles together and fit tyres on them. It's just two halves. But they look pretty good. You should see what they're like when you line them up, whether they've got a big ridge down the middle. But it's no big deal, is it? And then what's the clear bits like? So they've gone for the moulded on windscreen wipers. Very shiny looking glass. What's it like to see through? Slight sort of distortion. If you look at something through it, it's a little bit distorted, but you won't notice that. Even the pattern in the headlights. Looks really good. Now, I can't remember how much it was. I don't think it was huge amounts, but I shall put it in the description in case you're thinking of getting one of these. Ah. First impressions it's now typical airfix in that it looks really good. I can't find anything leaping out as being a bit. Big dodge, they just don't make rubbish anymore, which is which is rather nice, isn't it? Gives you a bit of confidence, you know. 
If you see something you fancy, it's Airfix. As long as it's been made in the last 10 years or so, it's probably going to be all right. Very good. Right. Um, I think I might alter my plans and make this in the next day or so. Because I really like that. I think about a fun little a fun little quick build. So what else have the part count was? 39. So not too much. Hmm. Yeah, chuffed. Well done, Ethics. Another good one. Cool. Right, I shall crack on. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.